In this example, let's find the standard form of the equation of a hyperbola given that the foci is plus or minus 5 comma 0, and there are two asymptotes y is equal to plus or minus 3 fourths x. Now, before we can do that, we need to decide if the transverse axle is horizontal or vertical. This is what it would look like if we had a horizontal transverse axis. And this is what it would look like if we had a vertical transverse axis. And just a reminder, the transverse axis is going across from here to here, and the transverse axis for this one on the right is going up and down over here. Now, because we're told that our foci is plus or minus 5 comma 0, I strongly recommend plotting those points down so you can see where they lie. So one of the foci is going to be right over here at positive 5 comma 0, and the other one is going to be 5 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right over here. Given that our foci are left and right of each other, it means that our transverse axis is horizontal here, and our hyperbola would look something like this. Just a rough sketch, though. Now that we know we're dealing with a hyperbola that has a horizontal transverse axle, let's make sure we use the right equation to get this started. The standard form for an equation of a hyperbola that has a horizontal transverse axis is going to be the quantity of x minus h squared all over a squared, minus the quantity of y minus k squared all over b squared is equal to 1. When dealing with hyperbolas, it's really important to make sure that you use the right equation. Now that we know what the general standard form should look like, let's talk about the equations for these specific asymptotes. For the equations of asymptotes for hyperbolas that have horizontal transverse axis, we have to follow the formula y is equal to k plus or minus b over a times the quantity of x minus h. Since we know that the foci are each five units away from the center here, we know that the hk, or the center of this hyperbola, is going to be 0, 0. So this hk that we have in the formula right over here, as well as the hk that we see in the asymptote formula, those are going to be, let's say, we have h comma k, let's just say that's going to be 0 comma 0. Knowing that h and k are both 0, we can substitute in 0 for h and k and simplify each of these formulas just a little bit. Simplifying the standard form for the hyperbola, we can write x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared, and that's all equal to 1. Now, as for the equation for the asymptotes, we can simplify that and say that y is equal to plus or minus b over a times x. Let's get rid of this for now. We also have already established that the center is 0, 0, so let's get rid of that. Let's take this graph and just make it maybe a little smaller, save some space. And let's take this information and put it on the side as well. So we were able to figure out the center of the hyperbola given that we knew the middle of the foci was 0, comma 0. So the only thing left to do is to figure out what a and b are. The equation of the asymptotes we were given was y is equal to plus or minus 3 fourths x. And our simplified equation for the asymptotes that we found was equal to y is equal to plus or minus b over a x. Looking at this, we can write the equation that 3 over 4 is equal to b over a. From this, we know that a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 3. Now, if we wanted to check this with that equation we know of c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, then we can say, okay, well, a is 4, so 4 squared is going to equal 16, and b is 3, so 3 squared is going to equal 9, so this should equal 25, right? Well, if we go back and think about this, well, c is supposed to be this value right over here, and we know c is equal to 5, and 5 squared does equal 25. Let me just jot down this information on the side real quick. So we know a is equal to 4, b is equal to 3, we figured those things out, and c was equal to 5 all along. So we already had that from the beginning since we knew about the foci. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get rid of all of this since we're kind of done with it. Get rid of all of that and these two as well. And I think we have all the information we need. So for our standard form of the equation, we're just going to write x squared over a squared, well a is 4, so 4 times 4 is going to be equal to 16, minus y squared over, and it's b squared, b is equal to 3, so 3 squared is equal to 9, 
and that's going to equal 1. This right here should be the equation of a hyperbola given that the foci is plus or minus 5 comma 0 and the asymptotes are y is equal to plus or minus 3 fourths x. Let me see if I can pull up a picture of that on a graph to show you. So you can see that I graphed this same exact equation. And these are the equations of our two asymptotes. Our center is right at the origin. That's going to be our h comma k. And it's pretty clear that our foci is uh, pretty reasonable. Our foci is going to be at, you know, this positive 5 and negative 5 comma 0. And I think that's just about it. I hope that helped.